get it get it going once and for all. But uh, this uh, people have seen it maybe on Facebook this week. So back in September, I was in Austin, Texas, for the uh, Irish Network USA convention, and they showed this movie called the Irish uh, the Irish Pub. And it's a do it's a do documentary about uh, family owned uh, Irish pubs um, over over the years, third and fourth generation owned owned pubs. There's even one I know there's a lot of Mayo people in Cleveland. So in Ballina, there's a pub called Leonard's. I know, I know him well. <laughs> you probably lived there for a while. Yeah, yeah. I, so rumors are true. Okay. <laughs> so that, that's one of the pubs, fe that's one of the pubs featured in it. There's uh, the Grave Diggers in Dublin, out in Glasnevin. Uh, there's the Palace Bar in Dublin on Fleet Street. Uh, there's a few bars, Donegal and, and Kerry. John B. Keynes uh, in uh, Listowel, I think, in County Kerry. Mm -hmm. So there's maybe 15, 20 pubs they feature in it. Alex Fagan's the director. Uh, basically, he goes around these pubs interviewing people. Uh, and it's kind of funny how I, I came about getting the movie here to Cleveland. So when I saw the movie, um, right away I emailed the director and said, hey, how do we get this to Cleveland? I think people in Cleveland would love to see this. So we were working on this for a few months, and then all of a sudden, uh, the Cleveland Museum of Art, I got an email from the director saying, hey, they just bought the movie as well. So we don't know what was going on there. And, now, and it turned out now the day, they bought it just to buy it and had no plan for it, had no real hadn't thought about what they're, how they were going to show it or where they are going to show it. So we got together and thought, hey, let's do this together. So um, we're going to so do then, a That's where my money was going. The big donation of a million bucks I made to the museum. <laughs> oh, wow. That's where it went. Yeah. They're buying well, things they didn't even want. Your other million was spent in Leonard's, apparently. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was before I came to America. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. It's well worth it to support the museum. Now, it's going to be in the beautiful atrium area. It's going to be a, yeah, the auditor, there's an auditorium that seats, oh, I think. Okay. Uh, it's one of yes. the big auditoriums, yes. so we can mm -hmm. get three, right. 400 people in there. Okay. So kind of how it's going to work. I'm going to show the movie at 7 o'clock on March 6th. And then Brendan Ring from Nighttime has actually been gracious enough to, he's going to host a uh, little reception afterwards um, with hors d'oeuvres and stuff in the cash bar. But we also know Aidan Cronin, the Irish Consul General, a good friend of everyone here. He'll be in town that day. Are you day sure it's well. not a, a free bar? For you. Yeah, your, your drink will be free. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, of course. Yeah, yeah. But the water, yeah. Water, yeah. <laughs> but Aidan, Aidan's going to come in from Chicago for it as well. And uh, just a nice way of kind of getting this thing going again. It's just a, it's not a... Make, make a big deal about it. Just a, it's a fun night, and uh, you can buy the tickets directly from the Cleveland Museum of Art, and uh, the websites. It's up on Facebook. It's on the, the the Museum of Art's website. The ticket link, everything. So I was wondering, Mark, uh, if anyone goes on Facebook and sees this. Now, listen. How would you like to confront that guy later <laughs> tonight, saying, "I need another yeah. beer," and he well, said, "No, I'm not going to give you one." Yeah, you should hear yeah, him speak. He's very grumpy. So you would yeah. pay attention to him. He looks yeah. that way, doesn't he? he looks yeah, like yeah, one yeah. mean devil. I tell you that. Yeah, he looks it's a it's one of the funniest documentaries I've it ever is. seen, to be I quite saw honest. The we showed you the trailer, that's and right. So It is. It is fun. you got to listen. you got to listen yeah, real close. Of, the actions are pretty strong yeah. in some of it, but for the most part, it's uh, it's very clear. and uh, It's just they talk about the history of the snug room and what the snug room was yeah. created for. It's more for the for the women to go into that room and do their thing, and the men can be sitting in the pub. And I remember and those days. <laughs> that tells yeah. you how old I am. You should bring those back, maybe, no? So. <laughs> uh -huh. oh. I know you're listening yes. to yes. Yes. Colleen, bring right. back to Snug Mark. Yeah. I'm with you. There you go. All right, Friday, March the 6th? Uh, Friday, March 6th, yes. Yeah. So, again, it's uh, kind of being co hosted through the Cleveland Irish Network and the Museum of Art. Kind of do this together, and, uh, and uh, obviously with night time at the end of it as well. So, it should be a real fun event, and uh, hopefully, we can get a few people out there just to support it and support the director. And his next venture is going to be Irish pubs in America. Mm -hmm. So that's where his next project will be, so it'll be a nice segue so into that. I'm sure he'll be visiting us. We'll, we'll get him over here, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mark, it's 20 bucks to get in, yep. and if you're a CMA member, which is at Taylor Museum of Art, it's mm -hmm. 15, right? And it's, yeah, it's, uh, seniors and students also get a, uh, okay. a $15 discount, they get a $5 discount for a $15 ticket. Uh, the website is? Uh, it's the uh, clevelandart.org, and then irish-pub, sorry. So it's uh, clevelandart.org forward slash irish-pub. Uh, if you just go to even Cleveland Art Museum's website, uh, they have a link there for tickets. It wasn't that, something I didn't know they did was show films over there. This is something uh, it's good for them to create some awareness of what they also do at the museum, and uh, it's a beautiful place to do this. At. That's right. If you haven't been to the art museum, it is one of the wonders of America. It really is. It's an incredible museum, isn't it? Cutting. It is one of the best in the world. In the world, I'll tell you, my aunt Eileen, mm. who lives in Mexico City, who's traveled all over the world, we have the, one of the best. Um, Chinese art collections that are there, and it's free. It's a free museum. It's endowed by the um, by the 
philanthropic, you know, wealthy Clevelanders back in the day. So we're very, very not lucky us. to have it. <laughs> yes, no, not us. <laughs> no, but we can enjoy it. So yes. Uh -huh. And uh, tomorrow at University Circle, just for Martin Luther King Day, um, to, for your family, everything's free out there tomorrow. So all the museums are, besides the art museum. Vice Bureau and James. Uh, and they don't, they don't know Paul, but no. they're going to get, they're going to get to know. Him. He's a golfer, yeah. Oh yeah. So I do. I, I golf at bachelor parties only. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Jerry, when are we going to, when are we going to get you out on the links now? I mean, if you right. on any Saturday, I'm there I know. every Saturday in Brexville. Okay, what time do you go there? 11.30. 11.30, all right. No, I'm serious. Every time I'm driving in, I'm like, golf tech, I'm like, when you, I, I need to, I need to sign up. But it's extraordinary because, what they can do yes. for you. Well, I'm going to need, I need the help. I've been golfing a long time now. You know, if you 15 that, years, well, if and I'm not getting hit, any better. I know. I, <laughs> well, you can get better. Know. You can get better. I'm telling you, even one, uh -huh. even one lesson from yes, this guy. will help. It help a yeah, lot. Yeah, will help. Very good. Because if you hit that first ball off the tee, if you hit it straight, yes. that's a good start. It's a great if start. If it goes in the woods of the lake, <laughs> you got a problem. It's bad. Oh, Very bad. Jesus yes. Uh -huh. that's right. All about, that's all about mm -hmm. golf taking. And of course, maybe you'll come on our golf trip to Ireland in August. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? Uh -huh. you see, did you hear the courses we're going I to? Bally Bunyan. Bally Bunyan. And we're going mm -hmm. to televise it. Oh my From Bally Bunyan, and it's going to be shown all over the country here really? on the Emerald Golf Network. Really? So you know, I was wondering, isn't there one golf course they have a statue of uh, Charlie Chaplin? He used to go to yeah, like golf. Where in, is that? That is uh, so outside that, Shannon is, somewhere. No, I thought it was Bally Bunyan. Is it Bally Bunyan? It be. Yeah, because he loved the town and the little village yeah. where they say that, and they put a statue yeah, for him. I, I okay, might, I might be yeah. wrong. And we might see Donald Trump too. Our yeah, friend. or Bill Clinton. Or Bill Clinton. In Waterloo, right, exactly. We're, well, we're going to Waterloo. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> So uh, Tim, uh, Tim uh, is working on that for us. So um, let me see if I got Tim's phone number handy. No, I don't have the one for us off. Okay, right for Salem here. So our friend Tommy called in. Tommy just says hello, Jerry, uh, and uh, Mrs. Eddie. So are we missing Eddie on his way to Florida? No, we're not missing. Him. <laughs> no, but hopefully him and Pat are having a safe trip. And uh, so he says hello there. But do you have a phone number? Uh, yes, yeah, so if you want to call Tim, you can call him even on his cell phone, which I shouldn't be giving out. Maybe he doesn't mind. 216-210-0828 if you want to find out more information on the progress of our golf tour of Ireland coming up in August. Of course, our trip to Ireland for Easter is all sold out. We're looking forward to that. should be a great event. We're staying in Mark Owens town, the town of Derry. I think we're staying at the Trinity. I give him a heads up, you're coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 security for the city. And I mean, yeah. You know what, Mark? I've made contact with the bishop, Bishop Lagan, who's retired, I believe. Francis Lagan. Or, or, is it Francis Lagan? Yeah. Did you know him? He, I, I, he confirmed me. Oh. My confirmation back in whenever it was. <laughs> I was paid with great attention back then. But, uh, he, was, uh, he was the bishop that did our confirmation that day. Oh, he's well, retired well, now, right? well, he's good friends with Frank Roddy of Northern Ohio Plumbing, so Frank contacted me and I told him we were going to Derry and he says, I hope you look up my friend Bishop Lager. Yeah. So maybe, any, I, I believe he's quite a, quite a character. Oh he is, he's, he's definitely a charismatic. Will he entertain us on the bus, do you think? I hope he doesn't ask to go to me to go to confession. Oh, that would be a long trip, that one. <laughs> no, Take out the trip. No, in your history, yeah. No, 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 no. Back to, back to Leonard's pub again. Yes, yes indeed. Uh, Mark, well I got you um, coming up. In March, we have the big event for yep. the Irish Business Network. And yeah, the, uh, the Irish Art Museum. Museum. Yeah. And I, mean, I showed you about the website, uh, www.irishpubfilm.com. I'll give you, there's a trailer on there of the, of the, of the actual documentary, and uh, if you, it's like a two minute trailer. If you, if you get a chance to check that out, it's pretty funny. But yeah, it's going to be 7 o'clock at the Cleveland Museum of Art, uh, followed by a reception at night time, hosted by Brendan Ring. So, it's going to be a great, great night, great way to kick off kind of the St. Patrick's Day season. Um, hopefully, I'm sure we'll have a clash that night with some other event going on in time, but we tried to schedule it around as many events as possible. So it's, um, we'd love to get some support on that if we can. Okay, 20 minutes past 11 o'clock here on the Irish Show on WHK. Connie.